I got to experience Phuket with a busload of influencers thanks to Tourism Thailand and here are some of the adventures we had. We started our trip with a party bus that was going to take us around and the wheels of the influencer bus did go round and round and round. Our first stop was lunch at Kindi restaurant where I walked in on a feast laid out for us on a big table. There were tons of amazing dishes and my favourite of the lot was the fish cooked with pineapple and chilli, the oyster omelette and the fried cicadas. That fish was so good that Romy and Varun ate it down to the bone. The meal like every meal in Thailand had to end with some mango sticky rice. The next day we visited the Mai Khao Marine Turtle Foundation where we were introduced to a whole bunch of turtles. We also got to learn about their program and efforts at conserving the habitats and the ecosystem for the sea turtles. And of course we got to feed the little buggers too. After that the party bus headed to Tatue, a Michelin guide featured restaurant where we were once again greeted with a generous spread. There were many things to eat but my favourite was the century egg which was so yummy. There was also a frog dish that was so spicy it burned my head off. After lunch we got on a tuk-tuk and headed to the beach to a spot called the landing point where you can watch flights landing into Phuket from a close distance. A must visit for aero junkies. The next day was sightseeing and we started at Wat Prathong to see the temples, which was a relaxing and calming place but I did spin myself into a tizzy. After that was a visit to Peranakan Museum which is the only lifestyle museum in Phuket where you can learn about the history among many other things. The Big Buddha was our next stop which is a towering and magnificent statue with a panoramic view of the island. And a lot of stairs to climb so I had to do a little rundown for fun. Lunch was at another Michelin guide restaurant called Wan Chan in Old Town where we were greeted with another massive spread. Another satisfying meal that ended with mango sticky rice with that delicious sweet coconut milk poured over it. Walked around and saw a bit of Phuket Old Town and just like that our 3 days in Phuket were over. It was a super fun trip with fun people and now you gotta let me know when are you going to Phuket.